The attacking player who gets possession of the ball is initially a receiver and cannot obstruct while receiving and controlling the ball. The question is, does she obstruct thereafter? Does she move to prevent a tackle attempt? The wording in the UBM, which disappointingly has not changed at all since last year, is a bit of a mixed bag. Are players trying to play the ball? Is there a possibility to play the ball? Is there active movement to prevent the playing of the ball? Be aware of the professional use of the body. Why professional? Use of the body to illegally block opponents from the ball. And then on completely on the other side, as well as players trying to demonstrate obstructions by lifting their sticks dangerously over opponents' heads. These questions are supposed to be discussion starting points, so there's no attempt made to answer any of them. In fact, the relative importance of these questions is not clear at all. Some will no doubt say that the defender made no attempt to tackle for the ball and others will say she had no possibility of playing a ball because the defend, uh, attacker was preventing her from doing so. Which approach is correct?